I've always really enjoyed Barrett's background story in Final Fantasy VII. All the stuff with Dine, it's very intriguing, it's very heartbreaking, and in this version, it was no less difficult to watch than in the original. It was really, really tough. But on the bright side, we got our buggy, and now we can explore the Corel area. I'm really excited after being stuck in the saucer, in the dust bowl for so long, we can spread our many wheels and zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Hope to see you guys in the comments and enjoy. Let's start this manhunt. I'm gonna go find Biggs. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say something earlier, but there was just so much happening, but I couldn't help but feel really sad when Dio said to Barrett, um, you know, I'm sorry I was wrong, you're innocent, or whatever. And Barrett just looking so sad, like he wasn't even hearing what Dio was saying, but also if he was, for him to just think, like, innocent, like hell I am. You know? Biggs. Is there anything we can do to help? All right, let's go get our bigs. Seen anyone around here who looks like this? I'm sorry, but I don't know who that is. Mm hmm. Somehow I don't believe you. Come check out our clearance sale. Our way of saying thank you for all your patronage. I feel like a lot of people in Sector 5 know who Biggs is, but they're not going to tell somebody who's dressed as a soldier, <laughs> you know? Maybe it was the tornado that tore open the sky, but who caused it? Do you really think that would... The investigation into the strange rift that appeared above Midgar continues. According to experts from Shinra... Oh, well, we're back in Midgar. Division, this is... The radiation emitted crazy. by the has no effect whatsoever on the human no matter what's going on. It is completely harmless. There's the missing plate. I wish I could have... Can you imagine just this giant hole in, in your steel sky just suddenly appears after a horrific disaster and then every time you look up you're reminded like all the people that, it, that survived Sector 7 that maybe came here it's a constant reminder Hey there you seen anyone who looks like this? Can't say I have. Additionally, Director Heidegger of Public Security has children of the planet. Behold the wound in the skies above, wrought by our hands. Our mother is suffering. Shrieking Tune in the day after tomorrow for our interview with the president, where we'll discuss the recent tornado. And Everything! This could be your very last chance! Am I supposed to... I don't think I need... I'm supposed to go here. I think I'm just supposed to... 
ask around to people in this whole circle. Why don't we all go camping? Ask what this guy. You, hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Afraid not. We've got freebies galore, folks. Come one, come all. Does this guy look familiar to you? Nope, sorry. <sighs> Nobody knows. There does not appear to be any information on the notice board. <laughs> Fuck. Shit. Think that's avalanche? Could be. Let's make it our memory? best yet. Better check it out. Hope I can. I have so much to be grateful. Scared me. These days, every time I sleep, I dream. That's got to be avalanche again. That was the church. The church. What? Oh, not Eris Church. That's a lot of fire. There he is. Mm -hmm. Is that? <laughs> There's our man. Chapter 9. Hey, RoboCat. You act all buddy buddy, but we don't know a thing about you. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. I'm a 9 to 5 nobody at a small Schindler subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy pasting forwarder of emails. Another Shinra lapdog. Lap cat? My mm. mistake. But you lot are special. Not more than special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How could I not tag along? Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Bullshit. Come now, this is a road trip. We should be bonded, not that's, fighting. That's not nice, oh. Barrett. Barrett, promise me. You won't take down Scarlet unless I'm there with you. All right, I promise. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. <sighs> I won't let some stupid guard get the better of me. Not before I punch that witch right in the mouth. Oh, that's it. I can't. Wait, just, just wait. We'll find somewhere to. Pull over. The shit's about to pop. Wait, Lassie, not in the buggy. Not in the buggy. Game over. She just sprawled out. <laughs> Feeling any better? Uh, leave me. Hmm. Where to now? We don't have any leads. And driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! When you don't know where life's leading, you should get yourself a reading. Ooh. Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um. Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. Wait! Barrett, you mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? 
Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car! Let's go, go, go! <sighs> well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Right, just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? Oh, Cloud? Mind taking the wheel? Oh. Not at all. Not Aye. at all. Hold it south through the sands till we start seeing green. We'll be pulling up outside that reactor before you can see Mako. <sighs> the buggy is capable of traversing not only land, but shallow waters as well, and faster than the average chocobo at that. Press down to call the buggy to your current location. Roll over transmutated transmutation materials while riding to collect them automatically. Accelerate break. Exit. The gold saucer is now uh, is offering new experiences at some of its attractions. Your success in the Chocobo Cup means you can now compete in more Chocobo races. Musclehead Coliseum has also started offering six person team bouts. Six person team? What? So, what was up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this reactor smack bang in the middle of a place famous for. God, you guessed it. The world's favorite panda. Ooh. Mushrooms grow near a reactor. <laughs> How fast, thanks. Okay. Let's take a look at our map here. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we need to head whew, way down here. We have Kate Sith. We have new quests to do. Um... I'm guessing we can probably do this whole area now. The Corel region. Um, so Johnny's quest we can do complete now. Which one? Prison cell? guy it's not too bad and there's Marlene's picture <laughs> bear it a moment wouldn't recommend going out there okay chadley cloud have you by chance observed the species of bird that likes to gather at life springs 
It's a new one entirely, which I have taken to calling Spring Seeker Owl. Oh yeah, if you I totally have. have. Trouble locating a life spring, I suggest following these creatures. The cabin is looks like it was um boarded up. Combat training, Kate Soak. I am really curious on how they're like how how they've done this. <laughs> Okay, press square to perform combo attacks with Kate Sith's megaphone. Wow, he does he fights without his Moogle too? Look at him go! <laughs> Hold it down to unleash a magical sound wave that harms nearby opponents. Pressing square after dodging will also unleash a magical sound wave. Press triangle while kate sith is by himself to execute kitty wallop a pouncing attack he can also summon a moogle to fight alongside him whoa 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 he's going all over the place <laughs> <laughs> voice lines are so good. <laughs> Man, the soundtrack. They really did not have to go so hard. Let's ride some as a giant Moogle to fight alongside Kate Sith. While on the field, the Moogle will attack enemies independently. It will withdraw from the battle once its HP reaches zero, but can be summoned again at will. Using Let's Ride while the Moogle is summoned will fully restore its HP and remount Kate Sith if he is not already mounted. Some of Kate Sith's abilities, including his limit break, can only be used while the Moogle is on the field. Activating one of these Moogle abilities will cause Kate Sith to automatically hop aboard his plush pal. probably need to be on the moogle roll of the dice roll rolls the die resulting effects depend on which number appears i love it fortune telling deal damage great or small or perhaps just get your fortune told <laughs> heat wave uh cold front okay let's ride paceth will immediately hop onto his moogle once it's summoned but can dismount by pressing circle and remount with triangle Dismount with circle. Okay, remount the triangle. While riding the Moogle, press square to attack alongside your plush pal. Hold it down to initiate a combo. Targeting the same foe while mounted will increase the power of your attacks. Um, and fill the HP gauge faster. Dismounting will allow you to choose separate targets. Gotcha. I thought the Moogle was gonna punch shit. I think I don't know how to do this yet. <laughs> As Moogle attacks, <clears throat> the Moogle meter will continue to fill. Press 
Triangle will mount it to deplete the meter and activate a Moogle ability. The default level 1 ability is Dropkick, a powerful physical attack. While I'm on the Moogle, because then he's just gonna dismount. Ah! Abilities dodge and dive, evade and attack, then use the Moogle to counter. Well, he's not attacking right now. Let's see. Wait, okay, now he's about to attack, maybe. Dodge and dive. Boom. Roll the, di roll the dice. Fancy a weekend. <laughs> yes. Where's my a two? <laughs> Roll the dice. Let's get some of the dice. Just the fortune teller. Fire and thunder. Wait, I'm not done. Okay. Well. Maybe there's more. Oh no, there's more battles. This is the last one. He said can learn other abilities as well, including dodge and dive, evade an attack, then counter with a reckless charge, after which the Moogle will withdraw. Okay, can only use while the Moogle is on the field. Roll the dice. Roll a die. The resulting effect varies depending on which number appears. So we have fire and thunder, hyper beam, Arrow and Blizzard, Total Outrage, Regenerative order, Aura, and Expansive Shield. <laughs> Boom. Damn. Okay, let's... I want to try Fortune Telling? Deal damage, or perhaps get your fortune told. Wow! That was quite a scrap. So, does some of... Do some of Kate Sith's abilities? You made short work of that simulation. Get stronger. Needless to the say, more luck he has. Await you on the like, road. is he so more likely to to roll like a, a higher number on the dice or something with higher luck? I would assume. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so he learned that ability. So we can go ahead and go to the yellow megaphone for roll the dice. And he can have more MP spots. Moogle draws enemy attention more easily. Reduces damage taken by the Moogle. Increases luck while riding by 100 while riding the Moogle. Aww. Increases damage dealt by the Moogle, slightly increases MP regeneration. Um, reduce the damage taken by the Moogle, and then I don't want to think too much about what kind of... Well, we can give him luck up. Oh, he already has one. Yeah, he already has one. With reservations at Costa del Sol with Your efforts have yielded an astounding amount of data, Cloud. Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia? Maybe. Okay, Alexander time. 
let's see how tough the full might is and then we'll we'll go down the list <laughs> let's just see though now i um i don't want to use cases because i barely used him but we could do like let's try with this party Weak to lightning. Oh, makes sense. Oh, wait, wait. The entity will be largely immune to all attacks until both its arms are crippled. It accumulates karma by using certain attacks. The higher its karma, the more powerful its divine judgment becomes. Passing Asuna can remove one level of karma. Oh, boy. Can you 
take over for me? Okay, he's pressured. There's all this stuff on the ground. Hang back. here this is not good go for it take it over oh she died really she died is down. It's a 
divine what now? It's for the best. So soon. Okay, well, I mean, we got kind of far <laughs> until he started doing all that bullshit. All right, let's try it again, but let's go to power down one. Let's, um, actually, oh man, that seems like it was a pretty decent team for it. I. Gosh, what I really should do is change my materia up, but that's so annoying. Perhaps you're having an off day. If there's anything else I can do for you. Do I understand what is blockable and what isn't? No, all I saw was just fucking lights everywhere. They all look the fucking same to me, okay? Please let You're asking too much. You're asking way too much. What do I want to do here? Can you? I'm going to take out the elemental material for right now. I want, um, revival and then that's all. The, that's the only change I want to make. I don't want to go Me too know. crazy. I'm always happy to help. Cloud. As a reminder, you can analyzing life springs. Get out of here. You should make an effort Get to seek out, out more of them if you wish to obtain new formulas. We'll try the same team since that seemed to be working all right. For us everybody uh those two have thunder they both have cures it seems like it's not too bad of a squad <laughs>
Okay, we're gonna take out this arm real quick with our vengeance mode. Try some thunder. Maybe one more thunder. In need of my aid. Take over. Hang back. Crap. Loud. I want to use focus thrust. Oh, he's staggered. He's staggered. He's staggered. Take out the arm. Take out the arm. Thunder. My shot bonus. Uh, All right. How are we doing on MP? She's all right. Let's keep going with the thunder. Okay. Oh, the arms. We almost got him. Here he comes. Okay. Should I be afraid? Oh, there we go. It's pressured now. Oh, oh, hurry up, hurry up. Hang back. If we can stagger it, we can cancel that. Whatever it's doing. 
going. <laughs> let's finish this. Okay, uh, let's see. Limit. Uh, we, he's, he, we got this. He's dead. That'll do. He's dead. Finish him off. Leave the rest to me. How shocking do they think? Oh, wow. The... The difference in difficulty between time. full might and one less, ah! like, power is... Seems pretty big. But we got it. We got the Alexander Materia. The weakest one must be a breeze. On he must Alexander. die in like five and seconds. And now his divine protection is yours to call upon on your adventures. A great comfort, I'm sure. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road. So take care. All right, we can move on to other things now. Want to hang out with the Moogles? Do I ever? Mug stool. Would you mind rounding up all the mooglets for me? Okay, five mooglets. Easy. Lord. This is actually kind of chaotic. There's one. Mm. Huh? What happened? Oh, I didn't see the banana peel. How dare you, Moki? Oh lord. Upper. If I do say so myself. We're not going to make it, but we're going to get you a little bit closer. used to call moogles duck faces for some reason You're they don't have great beaks house, <laughs> as a reward i'll tell you the story of how mog and mag fell in love it's so romantic even tell after me. mog was fully grown he still struggled to fly but he never gave up he kept on practicing undeterred eventually mag noticed how hard he was working and decided she would do everything in her power to support him as time passed, the two became closer and closer until one day. <laughs> I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Ooh, horrible story. Worst story Good ever. Fun. What the hell? Anything interesting catch your eye, Koopa? Not even a to be continued. Just that's it. Okay, Fortunes Untold Volume 2. Sharpshooter's Companion, Art of Sword Play, Vibro Detector, Detecting Subterranean Tremors? Uh, okay. 
Healing materia earrings. Ooh. Fire materia earrings. Thanks so much. You're welcome so much. Please come back, Mr. B you kids need some help. Mr. Birdie? What? Mommy said I'm not supposed to talk to you. Oh, is that so? Well then, why don't you talk to this old fella instead? Why does everybody call me old? He's tough. Tougher than he looks. And real good at solving people's problems, right? Barrett's so good with kids. Old fella. Don't get all bent out of shape. Besides, I'll always be older than you. Whatever. What? Well, okay, Squall. What's the problem? <laughs> uh, you see, Mr. Birdie ran away and hasn't come back. Oh, Mr. Birdie is a bird friend of ours? His head is all pointy. Kind of like yours, mister. Pointy, huh? I bet they're talking about Cloud Jr. The return of Cloud Who's Jr.? That? Your bird friend. Yeah. He had to run in with a nasty fiend, and we saved his tiny behind. No way! You guys, Grandpa said he saw Mr. Birdie heading toward the desert. What? But we aren't allowed to go all the way out there. You just leave it to us. We'll find your friend. Really? Promise. Great. Grandpa said there's some old bird houses out in the desert that people built back in the Republic days. He said those are good places to set traps. Oh, and my mommy told me you can craft them yourself if you've got the right chip. Huh. In that case, we'd better figure out how to transmute us some traps. This seems... involved. Okay, so we need a chip first before we can transmute it. I guess, or something? I don't know. We ain't gonna save you if you get heat stroke. Item transmuter. What can we transmute? We can transmute some of this stuff. It's important, but I put a lot of personal stuff on the back burner, and I shouldn't have. Dying and the others helped give me that clarity. Just wish I could have got it sooner. Hmm. Right, should be around here somewhere, I think. Traps. That's what we're doing tonight. 
We laid the second I one. I expect you'll find this hard to believe, but I've actually changed quite a bit since my younger days. Oh. Thanks to Tifa, mostly. She really set me straight, especially as a parent. Wouldn't be half the father I am today without her. That's so. What'd she do? Oh, uh, got fed up with my bullshit and tore me a new one. <laughs> Started yelling about how a kid like Marlene needed a proper roof over her head. Somewhere safe and clean. Said sleeping outside was risky. She was right. Sure was. And not just her. The whole team helped me get my act together. I used to be a runaway train. Charging full speed ahead and dragging folks along for the ride. Never thought about hitting the brakes or anything else. Had my fair share of crashes and went off the rails a few times. Caused a lot of trouble for those guys. Well, I'd say you managed to get yourself back on track. I couldn't have done it without them. They came into my life for a reason. Like you did, Cloud. Junior, too. I know it in my heart. <laughs> Barrett's the, the most sentimental of all. Everybody on this whole team. All right, let's see. Last one. We got to go up this way. And you know what we're going to do? Call our buggy. Mm hmm. Looking them, looking at them all sitting in the buggy too. I laid the last trap. Well, that's the last of the traps. Our bird might have already been caught in one of the others. Only one way to find out. Check the other trap. Um, no, we haven't run into Vincent yet, and I'm not sure if he's actually, um, in this. Treated. 
What a waste. We've got more. This is kind of tedious, isn't it? Well, all the regions have been just really fun to explore. Cloud Jr. Hey, I think we finally found our boy. Look. Gigant bomb, oh boy. Big to ice. When its HP gets low, it will self destruct. Okay. Keep it together. Oh, oh. Kill. For the team. <laughs> you had a scare, Junior. Thought you were gonna wind up Monster Child. Oh, is that your way of saying you're good on your own? But go straight home. You hear me? He's so cute. Ouch. That really was unpleasant. That was quite unpleasant. Yay! Cloud Jr. He's back. Huh? Hey, mister! He's back! Cloud Jr. came back! Of course he did. When we found him, we said, your friends are looking for you. You head straight home. <laughs> no wonder. Thank you so much. Hey, just doing a job. Level boost on, material. Someday you're going to be big and strong and scare away all the monsters. Hope I can bring Marlene back here one day. Tell her about her home and everything else. Uh, you sure that's a good idea? I owe it to her father. You'll feel better, maybe, but how do you think she'll feel? Don't know, man. <sighs> hmm. 
What's up? My dad says we're supposed to stay away from you. Sorry. That's so. <laughs> well, don't want to get you in trouble. Us old fellas gotta go. Take care of Cloud Jr. Thanks again for all your help, mister! Don't mention it. Bear it. It's sad. He takes it in stride, though. 